Hello everyone, this is King Coniality. This video I will show you our new product. Uh, this we call the KC868E16. This is a new external relief module. Uh, we have redesigned this board uh, and add this 16-channel uh, menu country uh, for this 16-channel relay output. And we have replaced the new terminal uh, with the older version. So this video I will show you what is the difference between the older version and how to use this board. Uh, with our power distribution box. Okay, let's begin. Uh, this is our new board, uh, E16 channel. The E means the extend, so this is for external relay board. Now let's look at the old version, and this is a new version. What we have new design are different between the old version. And you can see this red one uh, is button. You can see I can turn on, turn off this manually country. And this is without the button. You can see this is the output, the output, and we have replaced the new terminal. Uh, this is new terminal uh, instead of this one. And you can see, for example, we have two one, and we all connect with this com. Uh, this board, this terminal, you will like this uh, to fix the one, and this board you will easily to to use by this way. You can see this blue one is sick. And this is thin. But this time, uh, we can connect this blue line uh, to this terminal. And this line, uh, you, you, can't, you can't insert into this hole because not enough space. And for this terminal, you will easily to just uh, connect with this two one uh, just uh, by this way. This will be easily. So this is for good contact uh, than this version. Now let's look at the size, what's the different. Uh, this is the wise, is a little uh, long than the older version. And the hills uh, almost is the same. And also we can see this terminal have COM, NO, and NC. But this one have only COM and NO, normal open and COM. Because when we don't want the size become large. If we have installed the COM, the normal close uh, at the board, that will be very large. But if you really want to use the normal close, uh, you can see our PCB board, uh, the relay also have the normal close at this point. So you can see uh, this board. This board will have wind sound components. And if you want to uh, extend the normal close, uh, you can use this part. Just uh, this part is normal close. Uh, you can solder a, a one extend from the button. And also you can see uh, this is the button we can use. You can see this is a, a cap uh, for the red color. Also you can see how yellow and green and white and some different size and some different color for you to choose. And you just install this cap on this button. Okay, now let's look at this part, how it works. And this is a signal from the H32PS. I just use the input. And this is the power, and this is the ground. If we use this relay, it's DC 12 volt, and we use connect this orange socket with DC12. If you choose this relay, is 24 DC voltage, and you can connect with 24 DC voltage. So now I have connected this line. This is for ground. And this is for the orange is DC12 volt. And I also connect with this line uh, for triggering the relay. Okay, let's power on. Okay, let's power on. Now you can see I use this line, this yellow line. I can shut with the channel one. Uh, this channel one, you can see the relay is, is on and the LD is on, and this is relay 2, and 3, and 4, 
and the elderly, you can see, is triggered. When remove the fan, uh, this will be off and turn on and turn off. So this signal will uh, from the H32PS, the most fit output, uh, just for the country in the relay. And this button is for manually country. I can also not use this yellow line. You can see I can use this button. I use this button, country in the relay manually. So if you have the H32PS or the before controller is bad or broke, so you can also use this button. Turn on already and uh, turn off already. Uh, this is all on and this is all off. And you can see we have designed this PCB board uh, almost without any chip and any software because this board is very important. Uh, this really is connected with your load, your light, and your cut, and your electronic device directly. So this, this board needed to uh, work for a long time and needed to repair easily. So we not add the CPU and no any software, uh, just electronic components, very uh, little components. So everything, if it's bad, you can replace and repair by yourself easily and not contact to us. If your external board is bad, you can con disconnect with your power and you can see I can get out the really Easily, this is very easy. And if this bad, I can remove it. If bad, I can remove it. So you can replace with your relay uh, by any brand. Uh, just if you use by the 24 wattage or 12 wattage, uh, choose a one and insert and fix it and insert and fix it and insert and fix it so it's very easy to repair this part because the relay is most important so i think if just have problem almost from the, this relay because he, it always is on off on off so this is how to repair this relay okay the next we will replace this Board in our power distribution box and how it works with H32PS, I will show you. Okay, let's look at how to install this on the power distribution box. You can see this is a hole, this is a hole. If you have used the screw install, you can use this two hole. And also this board supports the DIN rail. You can see uh, this is a DIN rail and I can just uh, install like this. And so this is for lock. This will install on your power distribution box. You can see this is the older version of the uh, 16 channel external relay body. Now I will use this new version module and I will tell you how to uh, replace for this one and how to wind and just to change this one and how to use this part. After we install, I will show you. Okay, you can see we have replaced the E16 channel board and uh, work with this H32BS. Uh, this is output. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and until 16 channel output and go to this part. And this is the uh, DC12 voltage. You can see it's connected with, together with the DC12 voltage. And the black is ground uh, for the power supply ground. And this is the output. The output is COM and NO. Just NO means the normal, normal open. So we, we let the COM all is connected with together with the uh, leave line. And the output we have connected with the brick, 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 and all this brick. And now I can show you, I can control by my uh, computer and the wall switch. You can see I can turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, and uh, all on. And you can see all is on, and this is all on, and I can turn off. Okay, this is the relay board controlled by my computer. And now I can use this wall switch. Uh, you can see I can click uh, this channel, 
and close and uh, turn on and uh, turn off uh, the relay. Also, you can use this button. Uh, this is our new function for the manual country button. Now we can use this manual country button. You can see I can turn on, uh, this light is on, and this light is on. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. And this can be manual country by my hand. And you can see the H32 also will be work. And I turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. And if you have one situation, uh, the H32 BS, the controller is, is bad or is broken, I can turn this power off. Uh, no power, uh, so this will be not work. But this radio board and this is brick and connect with your light, with your curtain, with your device, with many load. So this is very important. I can't uh, lose the country way. So you can also you can now you can turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, and you can see I can manually country this. Uh, Relay, uh, turn on and turn off. Uh, this is for emergency use. Uh, maybe normally you not need to use this button, but sometimes when this controller is broken, so you can use this button uh, directly. Uh, you can see, I can use this uh, country any channel, dependently. So this is for for you to uh, make sure that your system and work stable. And uh, this uh, is a manual control way for you, this external relay board. Okay, thanks for watching.